Hey guys, and here we are back with another video and back with Shelly AM one month later to share a few things right over here. One of which is the two type of connections that I already made, which I will explain in just a few moments. I also want to show you how the different readings we will get. And I also want to do a comparison here with other systems that I've got in terms of measuring. But to be honest, this one is in terms of price quality so far, the best that I've used. I will leave a link down below. If you haven't checked the previous video about the installation, so on and so forth, that will be great if you haven't installed one already. So I'll leave a link down below or somewhere here on the YouTube cards. And that being said, don't forget a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Wondershare Dr. Phone. And it's a software available for iOS and Android. We can do phone backups, restore and backup from and to our Windows and Mac computer, data recovery, phone transfers, system repairs such as black screen, boot loop, especially on Android phones and a lot more. There's a free trial version. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out and see for yourself if it's the software that you want to use or not. And talking about software, the Shelly software is awesome as we have seen on previous videos. And first of all, I just want to share a quick comparison right over here with the other system, as I was saying. Now this is regarding the 12th of July and what it says right over here that I consumed 14.65 kilowatts from the grid and I did inject in the grid 6.18. Now if I go to the other app, which is the Mirror B app or WeB to be more precise at this moment, it will tell me that I did purchase 15.55 right over here, this purple uh, symbol. And I also uh, exported to the grid 6.11. So it's very close one to another. And my feedback right over here is that in terms of accuracy, not the Weeby and not the Shelly are 100%. So let's go for the middle. And as we can see, it's roughly um, not even one kilowatt of Different. So if we go half and half would be roughly 400 watt hours in terms of difference in terms of consumption and in terms of production really, really small 16.18 and 16.11. Now, if we look at the Weeby, it has a lot more details as we can see right over here, total consumption 35.46 kilowatts. And I only got from the grid 15 because I did use actually 19.91 from the 26 total Produce. So it's a different uh, situation, but the price is three times more. So when people ask me, hey Robert, is it worth it? Honestly, if you want really the lot of data and you are crazy about this stuff, then probably you will have to balance it. But if you want to get precise readings with a nice software at an affordable price, then don't even think about it because this is just awesome. Now, one thing that I would like to mention right over here is that uh, initially on the install video, I showed one of the uh, ways of installing. And what I did was the production clamp is just for solar PV production, but the consumption clamp, what I did an experiment was to place it in a place that will only read consumption. There will be no exported energy on that line because this is the way that I've got my circuit breaker configured. Now, after a few weeks, I got a lot of questions and I had the question myself. So what I did was to remove the clamp and put it where I actually have exported energy. And that is one of the things that I want to share with you guys today. What kind of data will we get? So first of all, let's look back at what we had in the past so that I can clear right over here. Things that I did like most and things that I did like less. Now in the past, only reading consumption and exporting energy. When we look at the app and I'll put something here on screen, what we will get is an overall image and we will get a negative value if we are exporting energy and we will get a positive value if we are um, consuming energy from the grid. So this is the overall scenario when we look at the app. Now, when we go inside the app and we will actually see Shelly EM for the consumption and Shelly EM for the power production, we will have a positive value when we are consuming energy and we will have a negative value when we are producing energy. And that was the way that I had configured. And honestly, if you ask me, Harold, do you enjoy looking at the app and seeing a negative value if you are exporting or a positive value if you are uh, getting from the grid? 
Yes, I do. Downside is that it will not read the amount of energy that I export to my grid. And this is the biggest downside. Now, if we look at the app and right now it's uh, recording live, so no, nothing like the other video that you just saw because it was recorded before I moved the clamps. So if I look at the app, what we'll see right now uh, is that I'm consuming a overall of 297 kilowatts at this moment. And it will not tell me right over here how much I'm uh, exporting or how much I'm producing. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a different way of reading. And honestly, we will get used to it. But uh, the thing is that, and this is the main message, we will have two choices and then you will be able to see which one you prefer. Now, when I go deeper into the app, I will see that the Shell EM for consumption is telling me that, hey, I'm pulling from the grid 212 watts. At the moment, the total consumption is 2.93 kilowatts, but you are producing from your solar PV 2.71 kilowatts, so we are just getting 200 kilowatts from the grid. Now, if I shut down the AC, for example, for a moment, uh, we will see that the values will change. And right now I've got a minus 479, which means that the 479 watts at this moment are being exported to the grid. But nonetheless, the uh, total value right over here, the 2.22 kilowatts that we will see here on the top and we will see right over here is the total consumption. So this is the biggest difference that we will see when we have the clamp on a place that reads uh, the consumption and reads the exported energy. Now I can connect my AC once again and if I go to the Shelly EM on uh, right over here, um, I can see also the value. You know the app because we have seen this on the previous video and this is the thing that I enjoy the most on this second way of connecting things is that we will get the consumption and we will get the return power which is the uh, exported energy that I exported to the power grid and basically this is it we are not going to the options once again because we did that on the last video guys uh, the beauty of this is that we have more than one choice we can do a lot at least two ways that I can see if I found out a third one which I'm not imagining how uh, I will share with you guys but basically the main message is that having two ways at least uh, I'm no one to tell you which one is the best and my advice is just one which is if you already have one of these Shelly EM systems to get your power consumption if you only have power consumption then it's just awesome there are no options just power consumption so that we can improve our energy consumption around the house and that is just great but if you have power consumption and solar uh, production then there are these two ways of putting it and my suggestion would be to try both of them see which one you will get more comfortable the one that you prefer and then regardless of what I'm saying or anyone else is saying the important is that at the end of the day you get a educated decision depending on your taste and that's the beauty of it guys hopefully this video was helpful to I don't know share another detail about a great device which is Shelly EM if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.